Aloha everyone, this is Stephanie with The Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with a fun pick a card for what Hollywood style movie would you and your specific person star in. Number one is on the left with the energy oracle. Number two is in the middle with the shaman's oracle. And number three is on the right with the oracle of the mermaids. So take your time, choose your group now. If you need to pause the video, that's perfectly okay. And the timestamps will be in the description box below. I will meet you in your reading. Aloha. Aloha everyone. This is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with a pick a card reading for what Hollywood movie would you and your specific person star in? I just wanted to do a fun one to see what would the storyline be? What kind of movie would you star in? So uh, let's look at that just for fun. Uh, thank you guys so much. Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. I'm so grateful for you. And um, if you haven't yet, please do so. Thank you for commenting. All right, had to pause that there. Sorry, you guys. So thank you again for liking, sharing, subscribing, all the goodies. I am doing a contest free to enter, free to win for the month of May. That will be, um, I'll let you know about that in the end of the video as some are here just for the messages. So let's get to it. What Hollywood movie would Pile One and their specific person star in? What's the story here? And you guys picked the Energy Oracle a deck. All right. <laughs> okay, cool. We have Adjacent Possibilities. The Garden and the Gate. Blossoming Abundance and Deceit. Okay, so with this one, the energy that's flowing between the movie that you would have would be a mystery, as it were. But there would be action and energy with this okay so it's kind of like there's multiple doors open i also see this slightly as like sci-fi um because what they're showing me is you guys going in and out of different dimensional reality okay and so i think there's a a feeling of trying to figure out um who done it okay <laughs> so um there is a little bit of mystery there's things behind the scenes with you guys um and so it's like there's many different possibilities. This particular movie that you guys have been on is that there is this, um, it's like the star here, the, the feminine here in the movie would, is in this little garden, but there's a gate to the adjacent possibilities, to the future. And I feel like she's been dreaming of her person um but she's got to go through the gate she's got to go through the doorway in order to enter into this blossoming abundance this does also remind me a little bit of alice in wonderland so we're gonna get the tarot cards the my tarot of wonderland i wasn't planning to do that but with all these doors and the girl having to go through the gate it's like with your relationship um, your person's a little bit of a mystery. They may be a bit of a magician. There might be some deceit behind the, the scenes of things, okay? But there are these adjacent doors and possibilities opening. All right. Let's see. What movie would they star in? And so it's interesting. I feel like with this group, the movie would be very much this um, like internal change. And uh, with this person, it's like, um, you know, it's not a murder mystery per se, but it's almost like you are experiencing them through many different dimensions. And um, this is exposing the shadow, okay? cool yeah so perfect we have wheel of fortune so it's interesting it's like you guys are on this wheel but it's a wheel that's leading to abundance okay and you're working together so in the movie you guys would be starring and you'd be working out to figure out you know what was the shadow what was the deceit who done it you know um that's why i feel like you're in your out here relationship are really um 
trying to figure out how to bring in the energies. There's many different possibilities. Some of you might be um, trying to manifest your specific person at this time. You're not actually with them. But then we have six of wands. So you guys are victorious at the end of this. Okay, so you do go on the journey. Uh, you do go through the gate. You do take the chance on the other. You do um, figure out who done it, who was the person. You do see who the adjacent possibilities are. And you do allow the abundance to blossom and release and shine light on the truth. Okay, so it's like um, really interesting the energy of this particular movie. Um, I really like it. It's like uh, both Alice in Wonderland meets Interception or Inception. Yeah. Um, so it's a, a very kind of uh, trippy movie, but there's great love here. But there's also a battle to fight in order to get to it. You have to, uh, we have Ten of Cups. So um, this ultimately is a love story, um, but it goes through an actual battle and challenge and um, learning how to work together as a team the two of you and how to come back together and to have your dream and i do feel like it really has those inception vibes where um you guys are together in a different dimension um but it's necessary to kind of move through the adjacent possibilities so really really fun with this group it's like um in the real world out here it's like you guys are you have a specific person that you're looking at but you're working with them in multiple dimensions so in the 3d you may not be experiencing being together in union okay and you're wondering whether to go through this gate with them because there's shadow stuff that's up right um but in the 5d you guys are blossoming into abundance together you guys are um already you've already chosen the timeline okay so this feels like that this particular moment you're going through your inner world in order to bring out and actually um, choose the timeline that would be best for you and your specific person okay where you guys can be in abundance together where you guys can be in that ten of cups energy okay anything else they need to know about their movie <laughs> uh, it does feel like sometimes you run from each other um, but and it may have felt a little bit slow but it's like this um, this energy here is uh, really fun because you do have a knight in shining armor they might be a little bit of a slow um, one right because you guys are trying to figure out which door to go through okay but this is the one that will actually um, the one that builds it slow and steady is the one that brings the abundance. So you may have multiple people in your now that are asking you for your attention. Um, but this one that seems like they're slow and in this picture they're showing them to be one way, they're actually the emperor. They're actually like you find out that what the deceiving part was is, it, you know, maybe they're coming off as being... Um, less than what they are and they truly are an emperor on the inside and you've seen that from the beginning but you weren't quite ready to take the um to take the leap with them but then you move into that okay and it does show um you will travel both through dream time and uh, the waters of your emotion and maybe even physically to be with your person so i love this it's like mystery and adventure and sci-fi and psychology a really cool mix of energy for your guys's movie that you star in so um, those are the movies that i'm seeing is the alice in wonderland and i'm seeing inception really strongly um, with this group so it's like um, looking through the layers so that you can come into abundance and union with your person so really fun i just wanted to do a quick fun <laughs> fun read so i love that uh, maybe check out those movies because that's a good one and uh 
you know, enjoy enjoy the ride, they're saying, because it's showing that outside here, and it says, drink me. <laughs> so uh, you guys might be having a bit of a wild ride with your person, but it is um, one that ends in abundance and goodness for both of you guys, okay? So really fun, cool movie for you guys. Love it. Uh, thank you so much. For those of you who'd like to enter the contest for a 30-minute session with me, uh, it's free to enter, free to win. Here's how you do it. You be a subscriber if you're not already. So subscribe, hit that bell button, like and share this video. And in the comment section below, write um, uh, Inception. And that lets me know that you would like to enter the drawing. June 1st, I will do that for you guys and um, announce the winner. Hopefully it is you. So thank you. Till next time. Aloha. everyone this is stephanie with the whispering dragonfly coming to you with a really fun pick a card for what hollywood movie or type of movie would you and your specific person that you're thinking about star in okay so we're looking at just some fun here what would be the movie type uh, what would be the story and let's just see what comes out okay so thank you guys so much thank you for liking sharing subscribing hitting that bell button thank you for uh your comments as well i'm really enjoying that and i do a contest every month for um, a 30 minute session with me personally free to enter free to win i'll let you know at the end of the video how to enter that as some are here just for the message all right what hollywood movie would pile to and their specific person star in <laughs> You guys chose the Shaman Stream Oracle, so I feel like it's going to be a bit of a magical type of movie. I'm seeing like kind of Lord of the Rings meets romance, um, but let's look at what the energies open up. Okay. Cool. Great. Okay, so this is very much what they showed me on this. We have sky writing, and you notice the runes there, the fates. So this is very much like a um, shaman-y type of um, thing. I'm seeing Vikings. I'm seeing um, the runes. I'm seeing like an epic fantasy journey um, with you guys about a fated connection. So you guys would have a fated connection um, but you're going through all of the elements here right so we've got balancing uh, on one foot so balancing act okay and so I feel like what I'm seeing is that you know the divine masculine of this movie whatever uh, gender that may be you um, are going on a journey both to learn yourself but also um, for your fated love, okay, for the person that you are asking about. And we have deep divers, so diving deep into the task. And so this is a really cool um, journey with this. It's like they dive in emotionally and they dive in um, physically as well as spiritually uh, in order to have this. So it's very kind of Lord of the Rings, um, any type of movie with like Vikings. I'm also seeing Stardust, the movie. So it's this really cool journey that you guys have. It's like physical, but metaphysical in so many ways. I'm gonna actually look at the rune decks here um, because that the Viking in Norse type. So your person may be of that lineage out here. Um, perfect, cool. Great. So this is um, a love story, but also a love story built on harvest. Okay. So your person knows that um, you're the one and it takes a harvest takes up to a year to actually receive it. Okay. But they see you as their joy and they have the strength to move forward. So this is them um, going through um, Odin's initiations and doing so so pleasingly that the fated meeting of the two of you has happened and now they're going on their journey 
to balance things, to dive into the task of being worthy of you, okay? So say you're the divine feminine, this would be the princess or um, the one that um, they need to go on this epic journey and task for in order to um, bring the harvest, okay? I do feel like that it's opening up the warrior spirit in the divine masculine so that they can be strong and strengthened in their um let me see one more rune um so they can be strong and strengthened in their way it's a really fun movie like you um it's a mix of both that fantasy um the epicness of it as far as taking a a spiritual and physical journey so some of them may live at a distance from you out here in this world um, but they're like coming towards you both energetically um, but they have to go through their shadows okay and they have they've gone through the balance they've proven themselves worthy and there's also fun and funniness with this joy so there's a lot of like extreme um, fun around <laughs> around that okay and so let's see what else joy again and harmony okay this is epic partnership wow and last one and protection okay so what spirit's showing like this movie is about your guys's movie what you would star in is about joy and partnership and coming together okay despite all the odds you guys have learned how to balance. This is a protected relationship. It's the one where the hero and the heroine come together um, despite any of the, um, despite anything that may have tried to break you apart, whether that be other people or whether it be um, physical ailment, whether it be mental ailments we've come together you guys are faded okay so this is a beautiful beautiful energy of um an epic journey that is fated to be joyful to have harmony in your partnership this is about a couple that is destined to be together okay so it's one of those like fantasy made reality type of movies that you guys would star in and it is absolutely um, very advantageous okay you got joy twice this is a um, how you balance your relationship and one another is through joy you guys are balancing one another uh, you're bringing each other celebration joy and true will both of you are strong enough to use your will to come together to be in harmony to be in love okay and that i find to be absolutely and epically wonderful okay so very very excited for you guys this is very cute i keep seeing all of the the like odin's men you know like ah, i can't think of a movie for this that would have the vikings in it you guys can let me know in um the description box below of um, both coming into your own individually your joy of yourselves learning these things about yourself um, this also shows kind of the underdog like taking on the vision quest the journey um, in order to become the warrior in order to become worthy and you guys absolutely are coming together so there's very much this um celtic roots here with this as well so some of you maybe have viking or celtic roots um or your person does um because this movie is absolutely one of those oh it does also they just showed me outlander okay so it's like viking or outlander or it's that that faded connection that crosses all time and space um, in order for y'all to be together so yes it's a love story but it's love story built on the spiritual warrior okay built on the one who goes through to love themselves first in order to give that love to another okay so very much uh, liking that one, you guys, so, so good. I want to watch that movie. I, I may go watch a few of the fun um, 
epic sagas, right? The beautiful love stories that come together um, despite the challenges of time, space. Um, you guys are fated to come together. And they're showing me the little uh, fairies, like the fates, you know, where they help to guide you guys towards one another. So loving that. So fun. That is the movie you guys would star in. Thank you so much. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. If you would like to enter into the contest, it's free to enter, free to win. Just be a subscriber and hit that bell button, like and share this video, and then in the comment section below, write faded, and that lets me know that you would like to enter the drawing. I'll do that drawing on June 1st and announce the winner, and hopefully it is you. So, aloha. Aloha Pile 3, this is Stephanie with the Whispering Dragonfly coming to you with a fun and quick pick a card reading of um, what Hollywood movie and what type of Hollywood movie would you and your specific person star in. So this is just a fun one, a quick look at what would your movie be, uh, what type, and uh, maybe some information that Spirit wants to give on your relationship as well okay so before we get started i want to say thank you thank you for liking sharing subscribing thank you for hitting that bell button thank you guys for commenting donating sharing all of that um i do a contest every month for a 30 minute session with me personally free to enter free to win i'll let you know at the end of the video as some are here for the message not for the contest okay so let's look you guys chose the oracle of the mermaids so right off the bat, this is kind of like a siren song. The ocean is going to be very important to this connection. Um, this is a very watery, emotional connection. And this movie, uh, let's look farther to see what it's about. Beautiful. Okay. All right. So this is, it says, Soul Cage. It says, Rescue, Escape from Captivity and Restriction. Okay, so this one already, like, it's like, and I'm feeling like I need to, like, kind of massage my um, neck here, like, while I'm talking. So this very well may be a saga where someone has been rescued. You're noticing this mermaid is rescuing. And you guys may have come from different... Um, different areas of the world different religions you know so this is showing someone who felt caged um by something emotionally this movie would be like i mean they're kind of showing me little mermaid even though it's like not that um disney okay in what i'm seeing this has a little bit more of a darker kind of um sinister feeling so like the first person starts with a male or female matters not they may have a really depressive emotional state they've gone through a lot they feel locked in a cage and then this beautiful um other okay comes in and they um they help to save the other one and to help to heal the other one so you guys are on this healing journey okay so when you first met it may have been that your person was depressed or addicted or you were or there was just challenging emotions or you felt caged in some way in your life and then um there's been this uh you guys coming together it's like rescued um the other okay so we have divination and we have sisterhood so I'm so amused because I'm also seeing, like, even though it's not ocean, I'm seeing um, the movie Practical Magic, okay? So this is a faded connection. So a couple of these, like, had faded connections. Um, but this involves uh, the ocean, okay? So you may live by an ocean or um, in this movie, you guys are either ocean creatures or one is mermaid one is mer um, a human okay um, but one or both of you have known ahead of time that uh, you were going to meet each other okay and in this movie you do have the divine feminine has a sisterhood of people who are helping her to um, not only heal this um, 
this individual, your specific person, um, but they're also helping you to achieve your fate with this person to come into alignment, all right? So say one is human and one is um, a, a mer people, like there's a change and a transformation happening. So one or the other, one's gonna get legs or the other's gonna come into the ocean. So it's basically, you're getting this, there's a magical and siren type of quality to this movie, as well as it's like, uh, you can't help but to come together. Um, but how you met may have been in, like in this movie, you come together under harsh circumstances, but it's so that you can use the waters of the emotion to clean and clear one another and move into decluttering your energy and your life. We're gonna look at the mermaid tarot with this one and just keep with the theme. So yeah, I don't know why I keep seeing practical magic, that's so funny. And then there's other mermaid ones that I'm not quite remembering yet that would be similar. But it's certainly a love story, and it's a, a story about, um, you know, coming together maybe in a in a darker place, but but getting yourselves back to the light. Okay, and this is also a very like internal divine uh, union. I feel like the feminine, actually, both parties of this connection in the movie uh, psychically bonded and like came together. They are showing me the, the book 2150 AD. So if you've not read that, it is about like twin flames and having an experience on different um, planes of dimension. Um, so even though it's talking about movies, it's a similar energy. Beautiful. Okay, this is a story about overcoming that past. And it is a straight up like love story. How do you get back to each other? right so yeah yours is more of the epic romance that starts with um, love it starts with your person seeing you as the empress or you embodying that empress energy and have come into yourself in some way and then we have this treasure that comes um, from your energy from your way of being it's like you guys figure it out to get over yourselves um, so in this movie it is a straight on love story where one or the other might get a little scared they're considering they might have the analysis paralysis because it's like you came together in such a way that was for healing that how do you transform it into the romance but what they're seeing is that you are absolutely in your power and they're ready to give you that romance and so it's like they are in this position of overthinking you're feeling um, rejected or disappointed or crowded out but notice these two of cups are still standing okay notice this one can get to any of those knives to cut themselves out of the the mental prison that soul cage and you guys do it okay you do it we have the knight of cups there is great great love here and this also is reminding me of the divination here it's like you guys are seeing each other in your dreams and in this movie um it's like there may have been a bit of a separation or emotional separation um or a friends become lovers you know because how you first came in may have been in a rescue situation where you were helping the other person to release themselves but then both of you learn how to manifest one another you both become the magicians this is a magic and spiritual connection in this movie feels like a straight up love story with an ocean twist okay so it's like there's um, the waters of emotion that's happening but if you were to watch this movie it's like um it's the underdog or the one that had been rescued regaining their power um friends become lovers it's the um romance of a faded and divine connection finding one another across time and space and emotions um there may have been a prophecy about 
um, your connection. So it's like in this movie, one or the other one or both have seen the other or been instructed from their divine guides on who um, that person is. And you guys come together and you clear one another and it may be messy with emotions sometimes, but this is a um, beautiful love story, but definitely one that involves um, uh, the ocean, That in, and that could be metaphoric, but it feels like if you're watching this movie, they would definitely be um, uh, on or near or in the ocean, okay? And so there's a uh, healing of something that was rough or tragic to get self out of that emotional cage in order to come together and have your fated union. So it feels really beautiful, you guys. I love that movie. Love it, love it. I can't think exactly of what one. Uh, so let me know in the comments what movie comes to mind for you when you hear that scenario. So loving it. So thank you guys so much. I'm going to leave that there. Really fun reading today. Um, Thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. If you guys would like to enter the um, contest, it's easy to do. Just subscribe if you're not already, hit that bell button, like and share this video. And then in the comment section below, let's write um, divination, okay? And that will let me know that you guys want to enter the contest and I will do that drawing on June 1st and hopefully you are the winner. So thank you so much, till next time, aloha.